friends and family. Today is a glam type of makeup day, okay? While I'm doing makeup, I always have a wet paper towel right next to me, girl, right next to me. I'm looking in my mirror down here and of course, my mirror back there. Let me show you guys. It's a mess, don't judge. This is my mirror down here and my mirror up there. <laughs> Don't, don't judge. It's a mess. I got work to do. I, I, I got work to do. Oh, I need to warm up my throat. I need to warm up my throat. <clears> throat> mm. Got my ginger, lemon, and honey tea. I think it'll give you life, guys. It will give you life. I already put my primer on. Ooh, I need to go get my... This is my not so glam palette, it's called Etiquette. My glam palette, that one. I call it, who's your mama? Bam. And, whoop, that's the top. This is my glam palette, okay. Now, all right, you know what I'm gonna to do today? I'm gonna to add a little bit more primer over my nose to reduce the oil production because today is gonna to be a long day. I am going to be out till uh, evening time, till about 6 p.m. So I wanna make sure my oil production and my glands all right, I'm gonna use the same. Um, I'm gonna do one pump today. Yesterday I put two pumps. Usually I do one pump, but yesterday I did two because you know, I thought it should be just fine, but it was too much. Okay, so let's see how that goes today with a two, with a one pump. I'll use the same side that I used to blend yesterday. I'm gonna see if I can look a little less made up today. However, still gorgeous. Just basically trying to cover up any um, blemishes, which I have zero to none, but you know. You know. I still wanna even out the skin even it out hmm. what do we think what do we think guys um i think i'd like a little bit more just a little but you know my um blot powder can probably finish this up so let me do my forehead just a little bit just a tad bit more on my forehead and i think i should be okay Tad bit more, just a bit over here. And go, 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 go. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. I think I am good. I feel like my chin area needs a little bit also. I think. Maybe that's why I did two yesterday, because when I do one pump, sometimes, sometimes. Okay, so while we're doing this makeup, let's have a conversation, guys. Let's have a conversation. So you guys may or may not have seen my Uncomfortable Conversations with a Married Woman series. I'll be continuing that today. New episode. Hopefully I post it sooner than later. I'm trying not to have to edit my videos all the I just can't stand the task of editing videos. It just gets on my last nerve. It's like, it's too much. Too, too much for me to have to edit my videos, guys. If you are a YouTube person and you have a quick way of editing videos or reducing 
the need to edit videos please let me know because i really just need i need i can't it's a lot i love shooting the videos that's not my problem the problem is taking the time to edit it because once i'm shot you know once i'm done with the video i'm like i'm done <laughs> i don't want to do anything else with it other than post it right and i am finding that I can't just post it. I need to edit it. And sometimes I need more editing than other days, which is terrible, which probably means I need to be more concise with my videos so that I don't have to edit it as much, I'm assuming. Magnifying mirror. Let's make sure. Oh, good. Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't do so well. I got some creases that I need to get the product into. Nice. Okay, this side worked well. How come the other side didn't do so well? What did I do? What did I do? All right. Okay, we're set. Nice. All done. All done. Okay, it's good. And then some people put it on here too. My little concealer situation. It actually wasn't supposed to be a conceal. Well, is this a concealer? No. It's an actual foundation. It's just when I got it, it was a little lighter than I wanted. I'm like, ah, uh, no. We're not trying to do that kind of a mismatch, okay? No, ma'am. So I decided it would be my concealer. I ain't concealing nothing. I just need <laughs> certain places to be a little bit brighter than other places in order to. Well, I'm sort of concealing the bags under my eyes. Let's be honest. That's what I'm sort of doing. Okay, now I'm going to try this contour situation. If you didn't see my previous video, I just used this drugstore brand to do my, my um, oop, that was too much. I can, my, uh, what do you call this thing here? Contouring cheek. I don't think I need it. I honestly don't think I need it, but I do it anyway, because I can. <laughs> as you can see i have a very unorthodox way of doing my makeup i don't have all the fancy brushes and you know tools i just use my hand as much as i need to and then i just move on listen listen my concealer i'm not concealer my um contouring always looks better on this side because I can do this easier. On my right side, it's like, eee, challenges, challenges. Let's blot some of it out because it went a little lower than I needed it to. Child, listen. Corrections, corrections. If you need to correct it, take a little bit more of your um, foundation and just, uh, you know, just go over it like that. Yeah. Now let's blend. Let's blend. I think that's just how that's going to be. We leave it alone. We move on. Okay. So I watch these young ladies on YouTube. I, I just so admire them. I feel like they have perfected some of this makeup stuff. And look at me out here in these streets trying to figure myself out. Um, what's next? Why am I drawing a blank today? <laughs> I am kind of drawing a blank and it's not a good thing at all. I'm going to use my Bare Minerals. I don't know what this thing is. I got it because I just like the color of it, you know, but I know what I was supposed to do next. What I was supposed to do next was, was to, um, okay, now that's way too much, but I'll take care of it later. I was supposed to do my, um, 
right under my eye, the puffiness situation. So I use oh, my Clinique <clears throat> powder. Now this is a translucent powder, right? And that sort of puts some kind of a light reflective kind of, you know, sensation situation under my eyes. And if I put too much, it's a disaster, guys. So literally that and then I'm out of here. <laughs> Literally just that. And I gotta go. Gast to go. If not, it starts to look some kind of way and ooh, mm -mm. I'm like, girl, don't try to look like somebody's mama, okay? That's not a look we're going for. All right, all right. Where did I get that thing? Let me move this around a little bit more. There we go. I was starting to look a disaster. So it's sort of warm cheeks situation, but not too much. You know what I mean? Hmm. I'm going to have to brighten it. I feel like it darkened my face. It really did. I don't want dark cheeks. So I'm going to use my blender to go over it just a little bit to pick up some of that stuff. Maybe this would be better for contouring. I just absolutely love that color. It's got a um, purplish burgundy-ish hue to it. And I absolutely love it. But I can't find how to use it. Why, oh why? So what I forgot to do, I'm not making good use of my time. With my, um, I got it. Do my nose a little bit. As you can see, I have a strange way of doing my makeup. It comes together in the end. It's just different. Okay? Don't judge. And I just use my hands to kind of uh, blend. Yeah. And that's good enough for me. And we move on. What I need to do now then is brighten that middle part a little bit because, where is it? Because I can and I should brighten over here. So my series of Uncomfortable Conversations with a Married Woman, we will be talking about Choosing your life partner. Those of you that are single, that want to get married or want to be committed in a relationship. Come on over to that side. Let's have that conversation. Okay. How do you find the right person? Especially, let me tell you something. COVID did us dirty. Hmm. Not just because, you know, we are now, you know, people were dying and whatnot. It's not just because of that, but more like we kind of became sissies after COVID. Everybody, everybody became so sensitive. I'm going to use my blood powder now over my nose, especially. I noticed yesterday my corners of my nose here had some grease. We're not doing that. My blood powder makes me look a little baked. So I do it earlier now, so that by the time I'm leaving and by the time I spritz my um, setting spray, I don't look as matte and baked. You know what I mean? Because ain't nobody got time for that. Can I tell you my eyebrows sweat now? <laughs> like, not really sweat. Like, they produce grease. Who does? How? Oh. Grease on my eyebrows. Since when? It has never been a concern for me. Until now. 
So that's my blot powder in case I forget. Probably want to put a little bit extra on my nose. I'll take it with me. I'll just take it with me and use it as I need it. So let me do my eye shadow. So COVID, yes, did us dirty because, you know, we lost a lot of people. However, I feel the other way that it did us dirty is it has given all these people this kind of sense of entitlement. Oh, sorry, I gotta show you what I'm doing, right? So I'm gonna use this, oh, let me try not to let anything fall down while I'm showing you. I'm gonna use this one. I like this color a lot. And then I'll try to use this for my tear duct place a little bit. And then I'll have the darker shades, you know, at the outer edges. So that's the, 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 the plan. Oops. So I'm just pasting this on. I like this tool. I don't see people use it much. It came with a, with a thing. I like it because I can just, you know, put this stuff on there without having a whole lot of fallout. I like it a lot. Perfect. So people feeling entitled and stuff. I'm like, come on now, you know, just sissies all over the place. Like why do you feel you are owed this now? And you didn't seem to feel that way before. I don't know if they felt it before and just didn't say anything then because it was a less, how do I say, I don't want to say less accepted, but let me move up here a little bit with this. It was a less uh, tolerant society then. And now people are, they seem more tolerable. So now folks I think are, I don't know if I should have gone up there. With my folded eyelid situation, guys, it's a real situ I mean, ugh. I get so tired of it. I get so tired of it. But I wanted more of eye space, so I, okay. It is what it is. We'll work it. We'll work it, guys. We will work it. So I don't know if it's because people now feel like after everything I've been through, the least you can do for me is this kind of thing. You know what I mean? But I am tired, 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 trying to hire people and they have demands. They have demands. I'm like, where do you come from? I mean, like, why do you feel you have to have this situation? I don't know. I really honestly, I honestly don't know. And I'm asking because I don't know if other people are seeing something similar. I'm going to put this in the outer corners here. And I'll blend it later. Ooh, that's too much. But we'll handle it. We'll handle it. So people are starting to feel like they can ask for whatever they want. And as you all know, there was something called the great resignation because people were just quitting their jobs. Why? Because they have decided they don't have to take this no more kind of thing. I'm like, um, you were taking it before. Oh, all of a sudden mental health. Oop. Mental health? How about putting food on your table? I don't know. This, these are all just my opinions, of course, you know. But I really, really, really do feel like we've become so sensitive. And I'm not, don't get me wrong. I feel like at some point, you know, folks were being taken advantage of. You know what I mean? So I get it. I get it, you know. Now we kind of have the balls to be like, yeah, I won't take this anymore. I don't want to do this. Um, you took advantage of me for long enough. I don't want to do this anymore kind of thing. You won't keep doing this to me. I have rights, blah, blah, blah. I get it. 
I 100% get it. But what I'm saying is, there is a middle ground, okay? There is a point at which you know you're taking advantage of the system, which we all are in, and everything you do, even though you feel you're doing it for yourself and your family, affects other people, not just yourself and your family. It affects other people. Ooh, nice blend, baby girl, nice blend. So, how can we be conscious of one another's needs and still be able to fill our needs? You know what I mean? I'm not talking about being self-sacrificial or anything. I, you know, nothing grand like that. But can we consider other people? Also, not just what we want, what we need. I'm just asking that. If you guys have a different perspective, let me know because I'm baffled at the sudden me movement. Not me too, but me. If you grasp what I'm saying. Okay, now I'm going to use this very light one out here. You guys see it, the very light one at the corner. I feel like it looks lighter on the camera. It's not that light, but I'm just gonna just get a little bit out here, just a little, you guys see, to brighten things up, give it a little bit of a shimmer. That's it. Nothing too dire. Just a little bit of a shimmer, okay. Yeah. And so now everybody's super sensitive in my opinion Again, it's just my opinion, super sensitive. And trying to hire people is like, wow, if it's not remote, I'm not going to do it. What were you doing before COVID? What were you doing, young lady, young man, before COVID? You won't do it because it's not remote. Weren't you going to the office during COVID? During, I mean, before COVID, you were making it happen. You were making it work. Why? Because you were resilient, right? I also understand that now we know that you can work remotely and be successful in doing what you do. You don't have to be in the office. You know what I mean? For some of the works. I'm not talking about, you know, like a bank teller or, um, um, a checkout person at the grocery store, of course, you can't do those remote. Although, like, 10 million of them now are doing the self-service checkout. So then they need fewer people, right? But the demand to just be remote so that you have this flexibility. Now, my question to you is, if you have that kind of flexibility, what are you doing with it? Which means... Half the time, you'd be running around doing other things other than your work. That's why you need that level of flexibility. If you can do your work 100% without interruptions, then why can't you be in the office? Why? I'm just asking. I also do know that for some people, especially those with pets and children, the challenge was real when, you know, you didn't have the option of working from home. I have been through it. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know exactly what you're going through. And those days, there wasn't any even thought of being 100% remote. I know my bosses would allow me certain concessions because some of my work, I could call people and troubleshoot stuff. You know what I mean? I did not even brush my brows before I did this. But anyway, eyeliner, eyeliner, eyeliner. And they allowed me those concessions, which was great. But now people are demanding it. Okay, I need my magnifying mirror. So this is my um, eyeliner. 
it is a Stila eyeliner, S-T-I-L-A. Guys, I used to have lashes, lash extensions, and they were so amazing, because I didn't even need to do this stuff. But now, that I don't have them, I'm actually trying to grow my eye, eyelashes, guys. If any of you have successfully done it, let me know. Ooh, I just made a crap. Never mind. I'll leave it alone. I feel like my lashes get thicker when I try to grow them, but they don't get longer. They just don't. They just get thicker. Get some last nerve. Yeah, thick is great. But I could always use mascara to make it look thick. Can you get me some length sometime? Length, please. You guys see it? So I have the um, fortunate situation of having hooded eyelashes. I mean, hooded eyes. Look, look, look how much meat that is. <laughs> when I say hooded, I mean hooded. And now that we have all these concessions and now everybody knows that a lot of the work that we do can be done remote, people are making demands. But if you ask me, not everybody should be remote just because the job allows you to be remote. There are some people that are lazy. Lazy people should not be allowed to work remote. I mean, if you're lazy, you're lucky you have a job at all. And now you're going to demand to work from home. And when we say, oh, let's have a meeting in the office, let's all, you know, come together. Um, you're like, oh, my leg hurts. My nose hurts. My ear hurts. I can't. I can't guys, I can't with that, I, I just can't. It's crazy to me. So I say, okay, in that case, let's have teleconferences um, with video. Instead of just using your phone, you know, we've provided you video capabilities. So we actually get to see each other and we actually have conversations with something other than a black square. People have issues with that. Well, I have my hair bonnet on. Okay. I'm going to put my hair bonnet on for you. How about that? And let's have a conversation on the video. Let's have our meeting on the video. How about that? Which means, in my view, how I interpret that is, you wake up in the morning in your PJs and you sit, and you sit in your bed with your computer and you work. I'm not knocking anybody if their work doesn't require them to physically be there <clears throat> or be presentable on video conferences. However, ooh, it's time for me to leave. Wow, girl. Today, mm -mm, not good. All right, did I do that? Yeah, I did the bottom. So I'm just about done. And then they just, they just, oh my gosh, the excuses, guys, the excuses gets on my last nerve, my very last nerve. So basically that tells me you were just hanging out at home, trying not to do any work, right? I'm not saying you can't work out, <laughs> you can't work when you have your PJs on. I get it, there are days when, but for me, when I'm working, I can't have PJs on because when I have PJs on, it means I'm not working. So it's a mental, almost a mental health thing for me where I have to wear something decent. I don't have to be dressed up like I'm going to the office, but I have to have something decent on because that in my mind, it tells my mind I'm working. Right? So then, okay, let me moisturize my lips real quick. Now, 
to show you guys this lipstick that I got, which is truly incredible. It's one that stays on all day. And it is, is it Revlon? Vinyl. It's called vinyl. Ooh, it's called vinyl also. Maybelline. Maybelline makes this. And this is a color that I have. I actually don't need to wear this color today, but I'm just, I just want to show you guys. It stays on all day. When I say all day, guys, I ain't joking. So when you put it on, you better get it right, because if you make a mistake, it's with you all day. I tried to do the edges first, or what do you call it, the edges? <laughs> Not edges, hold on. Um, just kind of line my lips with that first. And then I do the inside. And that's it. This will stay all day, guys. All day. I'll take this and my my blot powder with me. And then I will also take no, I'm not taking the other side. I need to do a little bit of a shimmer situation here real quick. Shimmer, 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 shimmer. Ooh, the shimmer powder situation. Eh? My shimmer powder is like broken up all over the place. My sister gave me this. She's a glamorous kind of person. I am not. So when she doesn't like something or she's done with it, I take it. <laughs> Saves me money. And it keeps me at the forefront of makeup and fashion. My baby sister. She is so beautiful. You have to see her. Gorge. Looks like a model. Except she's a shrimp like me. We're short people. And the model industry discriminates against us because they don't like short people. Highlight this brow area just a little bit more. That's it. Just a tad. And we are ready for takeoff. Yeah. Not exactly. Hold on. Let me rub it in a little bit. I feel like <sighs> I don't want it to look like I just drew there and left it better. Which is what I did. <laughs> Better. Okay, guys. So I'm all set. I really got to go. I like to leave home at a good time. Like, before, you know, I brush. I really need to... Okay, let me try and get my rosemary on my edges real quick. This rosemary is really helping my edges. My only thing is... I don't like putting it on when I'm about to go out because it starts to run into my face, which then puts a run in my makeup, which looks terrible. And then I'm like, Oop, and somebody's like, ah, you got something on your face. Shut up. <laughs> no, no, shut up. You got to tell me so that I don't walk out looking like an idiot. So anyway, with my uncomfortable conversations, I feel like I've been all over the place, guys. With a married woman situation, you have to come and let's have that conversation about, you know, making that list of criteria, you know, which somebody has to meet in order for you to even have a conversation with them. I feel like you start to kind of block your chances when you do that a little bit, but, but we'll, we'll talk about it, you know. Um, I think it also stems from especially, you know, some of the stuff that we've all been through with COVID. Everybody's, again, a little bit over the top sensitive. Not everybody, but most people, you know. And so now nobody wants to get their feelings hurt. Listen, it's part of life when you get your feelings hurt. It builds character. 
you become more resilient hopefully you learn lessons hopefully and you get to the point where now you know what to look out for hopefully if you don't learn lessons from these situations then you're either not too bright or <laughs> you just want to be hurt again or you want to go through that nonsense again that's all i'm saying all right guys and i'll take pictures and show you my final look but right now i gotta split i'm glad i had my food all, all done before but yeah this is my as glam as i get guys i don't get any more glamour than this this is like too much too much i don't have any rosiness in my cheeks though i know this is great but give me a little bit of rose hold on let me put myself a little bit of rosiness so i'm gonna put a little bit of rosiness real quick before i go yeah oh come on I can never open these things. It's like, why? It's called up. Oh, it's, it's that's, that's who makes it. It's very rosy. I need a pink one. There we go. Just a tad. You see that just gives me a little sun kiss kind of glow. That's all. Please don't go out putting a whole bunch of this stuff on your face looking like Mary Poppins. <laughs> and be popping all right i love you guys remember oh i got powder all over my black trousers wow last but not the least is my all-nighter uh finisher um so i'm gonna spray it on uh it's made by urban decay so here we go One of the things I like about this is it, it ends up giving me a dewy look. So when my face looks pasty, this one gives me, ooh, look at that dew. Do you see you guys? Yeah, I love it. And that keeps my makeup in place. It doesn't transfer onto people when I give them a hug because I love to give people a hug. All right. <laughs> okay. Remember, don't just mosey on along in life and woe is me kind of mentality i need you to strive to thrive i need you to put your best foot forward in everything that you do that way you have no regrets you you know you did your absolute best and what else can you do other than that okay so i'm gonna leave you with this and i gotta run because i'm getting late and i hate being late i don't like anybody else being late so me being late is a taboo Mwah.